All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Forgot to bring out my tripod, so I'm using the car bumper. Doing a great job, girl. Thank you for stopping by. So today I wanted to go over the difference, or the, I want to help you guys understand what the difference is between a single gang box, a double gang box, a triple gang box, four gang box, etc. So what a gang means exactly. Um, there are metal boxes. I don't have any with me at the moment, but I have... I don't have, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. There are metal type of cut-in boxes where basically you can um, take off the side of it and then attach another one to it. Basically just build the box as big as you want it to be. Um, so basically what a gang means is just, it just means that when you go to uh, like install a device, whether it's a plug-in or a switch, basically you count the, the holes on the box um, so like this would be a one gang box because it has screw holes for one device. Um, this would be a two gang box because it has screw holes for two devices. Um, I don't have a three gang box, but this is a four gang box. So where you would put in like four different switches or a plug or whatever you want it to be. So basically what a gang means is just def defines how big the box is. Um, so this would be a, a metal type of box and this would be a residential type of box. And the residential boxes are self-explanatory. The screw holes, the set of screw holes defines it as a single gang box, a double gang box, etc. But the metal gang boxes are a little bit different. There's a whole bunch of different types of boxes. Um, but for these, uh, th this box right here is called a four square box. This one has brackets to mount it to a stud. Um, but for these ones, um, it depends on the mud ring, what it is. So this would be a single gang mud ring to make it a single gang box. Um, and this would be a double gang mud, mud ring to make it a double gang box. Um, but in theory, this is more like for two, um, a double gang situation. Um, but for single gang, it just gives you more room. Um, and that pretty much is going to wrap up my video, I think, because that's all I got for you. So I wanted to go over these basic ideas before I jump in and start wiring stuff on the wall. I would love to just start wiring stuff on the wall, but I'm trying to give you guys some background information. Um, and next I'll probably go over home runs, what a home run is, like what a circuit is, and stuff like that before I start jumping into wiring and start confusing a whole bunch of people. So I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thank you. Sorry this video was kind of um, not the best. Um, I was stumbling over my words and stuff, but thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. Um, I will be doing another giveaway here soon. Um, probably in two or three weeks once I hit a million views total. Um, I'm at like 970,000 right now. So I can't wait to hit a million. It'll be an awesome milestone for the channel. Thank you guys all for supporting me. And uh, congrats to Arctic Vet for winning the $100 uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Check out his channel if you haven't already. I'll try to put a link in the description below. That's going to do it for this video. Um, check the description for anything else. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys back here in the next one and teach you guys some more stuff. And I think that should do it. All right. Peace out. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye. I also did forget to mention some of these have um, nail-on applications for nailing it to the studs. Some of them have screw-on applications for screwing it to the face of the stud. Um, but I did want to keep these videos in order, trying to uh, basically teach people from the beginning, um, um, keep these in educational order. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Bye.